This is the second and last part of the TV Lift Cabinet project. This project is sponsored by TVLiftCabinet.com and SOS Invisible Hinges. If you want to know more about the lift that I'm using in this project or the hinges that I'll be using for the lid, click on the links in the description. You can see that I've made a lot of progress on the cabinet. It's all painted. I've attached the doors. I've attached the magnetic catches. I even have the TV in the cabinet right now and that's to make sure I have a nice tight clearance with the lid. Now I'm going to cover the cabinet back up and get to work on the top. I'm building the top out of three boards and I'm going to get started by first attaching the center board to the backboard with three hinges. I've marked the board where I'll need to cut a mortise for the hinge and I'll clamp the jig in place. This is the first step in a two-step mortise. And now using my plunge router, I'll cut the first mortise. The next step is to replace the screws that are provided with the jig. And then set the plunge router a half inch deeper. This is one of those things where you're going to want to spend some time on, work with a piece of scrap wood and dial everything in before you get started on the project. I've taken a few minutes to position the top because there's a few things you need to consider. One is you need to make sure that the lid doesn't go beyond 90 degrees or it won't close. The only thing closing the lid is gravity. As the TV goes back into the cabinet, the lid will follow. You also need to make sure that there's enough room for the TV and the mechanism to rise out of the cabinet. Now that I've figured all of that out, I'm going to cut a 44 inch section out of the center board. I'll glue the front board, the back board, and the two cut off ends back together and that will create the top. While the top's drying, I'll make molding for the base of the cabinet. And the measurement for the molding is 3 eighths of an inch by 2 and a quarter. And I'll get started by ripping 5 quarter material in half.
I'm using this one inch stick to mark a line. I'll cut along this line to have a one inch overhang on the top. And I'll do the same thing on the front of the cabinet. I've let the glue sit up for a few hours. I've placed the top in position, marked everything out, and next I'll cut it to size. All right, well, it's a new day, and what I want to get done today is to first fit the top, then sand everything, and then stain all the parts so tomorrow it's ready for the clear coat. To fit the top, I'll start by cutting a five degree angle on the front edge of the lid. Well, it looks pretty good, but it is just a little bit tight. So I'm gonna use my hand plane to take just a little bit off the front edge. And that's why I cut the front edge of the lid on a five degree angle. Instead of having to plane the whole board, I'm just taking a little bit off that very front edge. Now that everything fits, I'm going to flip the top over and sand everything with the door in place. I'm also going to use the router to add a slight round over to the bottom of the top. I just added the stops to the bottom of the top and that will keep the lid from going into the cabinet a little bit and keep it nice and flush with the top. Now that I've got everything sanded, I'm finally ready for stain. Good now. We didn't really do the back, but that's fine. Now push it to me. Good.
Well, I'm really happy with the way this project turned out. And I want to thank TVLiftCabinet.com for sponsoring the project along with the Sauce Hinge Company. I really like these hinges. They've got just a, a very high quality look and feel to them. And once you take a little time dialing in your router and using the jig, they're very easy to use. Now, if you'd like me to do a Q&A on this project, leave it in the comments. You can leave a question in the comments or just say, yes, I would like you to do a Q&A because uh, often... I don't think people tune in for those. So let me know what you think about that. This is eventually going to go in my house. Probably in a week or two, I'm going to start renovating the room where this is going to go. There will be a lot of trim work, a lot of painting work, and this will be the focal point. So that's coming down the road. If you like this video, uh, please tell a friend or share it. Uh, subscribe and give me the thumbs up. All those things really help. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you soon.